Hi you guys and welcome back to another video. I am doing some laundry. We are getting ready to go to Mexico. It's one of our favorite places to go. We love Los Cabos because it's so close for us. So we're taking a mini vacation only like a few days so it won't be really really long but I'm doing laundry and just packing and all that and so I was like okay I'm gonna hop on here um, and share these three tips with you guys about weight loss so what I want to talk about in today's video is if you are struggling to lose weight and you are being you are perfectly on plan you're doing your exercise you're um, you know counting your macros or you're eating whatever you're supposed to be eating whatever plan you have and you're not losing weight you need to ask your doctor for these three tests and these are not the only tests this is not a comprehensive list but this is a list of tests that should be free or should be low cost with your insurance if you have it now of course if you don't have insurance you can always go to a lab and just ask for these tests and then you do have to pay um, so, but you need to ask your doctor for these three tests. So the first thing you want to ask for is vitamin D. What most people don't know is that vitamin D is actually a hormone and it has been proven to have a significant uh, impact on insulin, inflammation, and your metabolism. People who have low vitamin D levels tend to have larger belly fat reserves. They tend to be of course depressed right they have less um serotonin and they struggle with metabolizing fat and so if you can get your vitamin d levels checked then you can determine whether or not that's something that may be playing a part in your struggle to lose weight for me i had low vitamin d for a very long time and i had low energy and i had struggle i struggled to lose weight even if i was doing like low carb and fasting so double check your vitamin d and then make sure that your doctor recommends a supplement for you if you need it if you are black please understand the sun is not enough. One of the beautiful things about being black is that we don't, black don't crack, unless you're unhealthy, black don't crack, but that also means that we don't absorb as much vitamin D from the sun, so we have to be in the sun for much longer, and a lot of times, even then, our beautiful, thick, brown skin does not absorb the vitamin D into our bloodstream, so we need to be taking a vitamin D supplement. I highly recommend a vitamin D, uh, D3, K2 tincture, um, if that's what is recommended for you, if you need um, more vitamin D, I highly recommend that. I just do something that's under the tongue. I'm not into pills. I'm into the most, the easiest way to get things into your bloodstream, which is like through the mouth or through the skin. So I take a vitamin D3 K2 because you need K2 um, and vitamin D3 together for it to work properly as well as magnesium. So little tip there. The second thing I want you to check is your omega-3. Now this test may be a little more challenging for some of you in California. It does not come with our regular blood panels. If you're in another state, let me know if your omega-3 comes in. But what we know about omega-3 is that it is crucial for reducing inflammation. People who have, infl who have low omega-3s tend to be highly inflamed and they cannot fight off disease, let alone metabolize fat. One of the things that happens when you're inflamed is that you cannot metabolize fat as well as you should. And so it just tends to store. And so um, omega-3s are essential for also insulin resistance. If you're someone who's like, you eat a carb and your, your body blows up, that is a problem. That is not normal and your body shouldn't do that. So you wanna make sure that your vitamin, um, your omega-3 levels are intact. Um, or at where they should be. And if they're not, make sure you get a high potency, wild caught, mercury free omega-3. You don't want a dirty omega, you want a clean one. Um, in the same way that I don't eat farmed fish, I do not take omegas from farmed fishes for fish either. I only get omega from wild caught sources because you want them to be high quality and fresh, okay? Um, I know some people don't like omegas because of the burping smell, but whatever. I don't care. My health is my health, right? Okay. The last blood test you want to get, um, which should come with your regular panel is going to be your blood sugars. So getting your insulin, getting your fasted glucose, getting your A1C checked to make sure you are not in fact pre-diabetic. Now, please understand that people can be a look healthy and have pre-diabetes, right? Someone who's pre-diabetic may begin to struggle with insulin resistance, which means that your body cannot handle carbohydrates. Your body is tired of pumping out 
insulin to support the digestion of carbohydrates and the metabolization of carbohydrates. So you become insulin, insulin resistant. And people who have higher glucose levels, higher blood sugar levels tend to go down that path. So if you're struggling with your weight and you see this number is high, immediately work on reducing sugar in your diet. So some people are eating, doing their meal plan, but they have like alcohol or wine, um, or they have like, oh, treats and stuff every day. And I just want you to know that for now, you may need to cut that out until your body can get to a place where it can metabolize um, sugar again. So instead, what you can do is you can increase your protein intake and help your body to balance your blood sugar. So making sure that your meals have protein in each of them. And that way your body's not struggling to burn fat. I know that people are insulin resistant when they look like they have metabolic syndrome. So hands are really, really puffy, really, really big gut. They may have like toned legs, but they have this really big belly um, that tends, they tend to have a lot of like excess fat right here in their neck and face area is very estrogenic looking so um that is something if you're struggling with that go ahead and get that checked out i highly recommend it for all my clients i suggest that they get blood work if they have insurance just to make sure that everything is okay so those are the three blood tests that'll be really good for you and they should be lower costs um for you to make sure that your body is functioning how it should be again that's vitamin d omega-3 and insulin all right you guys i'm gonna finish doing my laundry and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye